can't yeah. believe you felt what I did. <laughs> Is it really on right now? Oh, thank you, thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Thursday Night Live. This is a family-friendly show that we're going to tell um, everything about Glenbrook. Um, my guest, actually, the, uh, my host of the show, would be Brian Lanzello and Mike Habert. And we all know their hard work that they've done in our village uh, during the past pandemic. They've raised a lot of money for a lot of different people, and they've kept the United Columbus afloat and the VFW. Uh, we all know their antics. So I just want to go over a few rules, Brian, because I don't want to listen to you. So just a few rules that we'll have. Uh, oh. <laughs> but with that said, um, <laughs> with that said, um, I want to thank them for all their hard work in the village and, and, and helping out so many residents in our, in our village. And they're going to be taking the show, and this will be a, a weekly um, event for us. And I think you're going to really enjoy it because it's going to tell about all the different things in Limbrook that are so nice that we have in this community. With that, I'll give it to Brian. Mayor Allen Beach, thank you so much. And thank you for your hard work for the, for the community. This is going to be way more entertaining than the village board meetings. <laughs> Hold on. I have to put my uh, how placard up there. How come I'm Hawks <laughs> I should be Hawks <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, all right. I finally could be the body Hello, though. everyone. We don't even know if anyone's watching. Introduce yourself. What the hell's going on there? Uh, my name is Michael Habert. I'm a lifelong Limbrook resident. Um, we first got involved together uh, with, the, with the raffles to, during the pandemic to try to help our small businesses, um, and that kind of took off. Uh, so a lot of people got to know us through that, and then we, along the way, we got contacted a lot of times with other things, uh, um, people that were in need of fundraising or, or had some uh, unfortunate tragedies in their family or sicknesses. So. Brian shook a lot of people down for that, and he dragged me in. <laughs> that is true. So um, just, we are, just like this. Yes. No. Listen. The last one. You. You know. So we are here. Uh, we're going to be doing a show I live. Was, I was drinking when I each, volunteered for the last one. <laughs> each week with our uh, apple pear um, tablecloth here, Limbrook spares no expense. It looks beautiful. We're going to be doing a show live This, this each is left week. over from the mayor's picnic, by the way. <laughs> live each week uh, discussing upcoming. I don't know if I should look at the camera or not. Should I look at the camera? Should I talk, look at you? I believe you want to break what it. Do we, what do we do? Usually yeah. Facebook Live, we're, we're looking at the screen. <laughs> so this is going to be a live show discussing uh, upcoming current events. Now I'm looking at her because she's walking away. Now I'm looking at you. You're walking away. Um, upcoming Limber current events discussing what's going on in the village, bringing our spin to it, social media, everything going on in the Limbrook Village, Limbrook Schools, and that we can discuss on TV without the rules that were given to us. My wife is over there editing as we speak. Well, talk to us. What are we doing wrong? I'm saying Yeah, the whole incorporate. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie, come. Carrie's going to Pitbull. Carrie's going to Pitbull. She's leaving me for the weekend. She's going to Atlantic City to go to Pitbull. Anyone who knows Carrie Habert. Brian, my mother never would have left my father to go watch Pitbull. No. Never. No. Selfish. You're selfish, no, Carrie. Lisa's here. Little, little my kids modern, are here. Modern, Ariana. A modern woman, you know? Yeah. And she's going to Atlantic City. So, yeah, by herself. And she got her hair done today. She did. And her she nails did. done, too. Yeah. It makes you know? me scratch my head a little bit. Mm -hmm. My, 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 my mayor, Brian Lanzello plaque that says temporarily Allen Beach. We're just letting them warm up the chairs to the next election. Keep it warm for us. So, we don't know if anyone's watching because, to be honest with you, we don't know if anyone ever watched Limbrook TV. When we said we were going live on Limbrook TV, we got a lot of responses. What is that? So, maybe no one's even watching right now. Um, Two more viewers than CNN. Yeah. <laughs> So we are here. We're going to uh, we're going to do our thing. We're going to go over anything Limburg, discuss um, all the current events. We're going to do giveaways. We're going to have fun with this. Um, what, what kind of giveaways? We're going to we're going to discuss that a little later on. Now I'm looking at Alan because Alan's walking away. It's hard to the you know to stay. <laughs> it's distracting. Uh, it's distracting. Um, we're going to uh, do anything possible. To, you know, I'm getting text messages from Baccio. <laughs> So he's upset that you didn't take his his plaque. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> are you so are you excited about this? Are we supposed to be excited now? How do you feel? I'm a little confused because you told me that the mayor asked that we do it. I asked the mayor, and he said that it was your Listen, idea. 
We're a hot item that may want us to do it. He said Limburg TV is in dire need of help. We, we might be hot, but we're not an item. <laughs> so, um, listen, what we're used to, though, what the, the one thing I don't like, which I was going to actually ask you guys about, is we're used to being on the, the computer screen and seeing FaceTime and talking crap, crap back and forth to us. You know, people are on the comments making fun of us, saying how skinny I look and how big Mike looks. Um, he got a pump. You worked out today, right? I did. I do. I see it. I see it. Anthony at Five Corners, he was looking for you. Did you Did you get a haircut, too? <laughs> yeah, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Did you? No, I didn't get a haircut. I didn't even shave to come here. To I be know, honest with you, I, I didn't put socks on. I don't know if the camera can see it. <laughs> Listen, it's part of life. I'm on TV. You don't have to put socks did Lisa, on. Did Lisa's not doing the laundry again? Lisa's not doing the laundry. She was away last week for eight days. Where? She went on a cruise. Can I you believe this? I did notice the tan. Yeah, it's on. She had her hair done today, too. Her and Carrie at the same time. The kids have a tan, too. Yeah, they all went away. Left me home alone to fend for myself. They must have had a great trip. <laughs> so, things we're going to be discussing, you know, again, this is just the intro to let you know what we're going to be doing in the, in the um, upcoming weeks. We're going to be discussing current events. Showed them, going, the showed them the outline you made. I did. I made an outline and made notes on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really small. He Mike gave, couldn't see he it. He gave me one to do homework with. I left it at, at the house. <laughs> We're going to try to be on as long as possible for an hour uh, or up to an hour. But, you know, some days, some shows will go back and forth in varying times. And Never over an hour. No, definitely never over an hour. I don't even think we're going to make it to an hour, to be honest with you. I can't wait to get people calling in. I want to see well, did, if people... Did you explain to them that? You know, so we're going we're gonna to do call-ins. The other night we tried to test it. Robbie just hooked us up and fixed it what all happened, for us. What happened when you tried to... Alan <laughs> blew out all of the phone services in Limburg for 911. So the police, the building department, everybody? Everybody. The entire village hall lost phone service because Alan started plugging things into the wrong places and blew out the... the what was it, the terminal, Robbie? It's, it's a family show. Yeah. <laughs> so Alan blew out the terminal. There was pictures taken and they might have posted on social media. And, um, yeah, they had no service. There was people, right, why can't we call 911? Why can't we call Limburg Police Department? <laughs> Alan's like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. So we're going to be discussing everything. Big topic that uh, we're going to be discussing. I hope all of your kids are adjusting. The taking the masks off, whether you're wearing them, you're not wearing them. I hope all the kids are adjusting and enjoying well, school. How do, how do the kids feel about it? Yeah, how do so the kids sure feel? Uh, Wilson, happy. my kids here, how do you guys feel about it? Ariana, Giovanna, how do you feel about not wearing a mask or wearing a mask? I've been with you all this time. I didn't know Giovanna was your kid. Giovanna, yeah. <laughs> she is. Listen, Lisa went away for a week. <laughs> Damon's here. How do you feel about not wearing or not wearing masks? I like not wearing a mask. Well, it's better. Ariana said the only reason she would want to wear a mask is in chorus so the teacher doesn't hear her sing. And Gavin, he wants to cover his boogers. So that's why they decided not to wear masks or to wear masks. Everybody loves boogers. I know, listen, I know the, the woman teaches. The <laughs> Alan's telling us to stop talking about masks. Very controversial subject. I went to CVS and all the, uh, the wax was gone because the teachers had to take their masks off and, and get their facial hair removed. So that was a plus. I couldn't buy any wax for myself. Um, but it's good. Listen, I hope everybody is Wait, adjusting well. You wax? I wax, yeah. I'll leave it at That's that. That's why I have facial hair. I'll leave hair it at today. that because I don't want to upset the mayor. <laughs> um, Last time I upset him, I got three tickets on my car in front of my house. <laughs> I hope everyone, the kids are adjusting well, the teachers are adjusting well, and... Um, whether you do or you don't wear a mask, this is my political statement, don't, uh, there's no reason to judge anyone. Everyone could do what they want, and it's good that we have the choice back in our hands. Are you, you, saying be, you were saying be the kind to everybody? Yeah, I'm saying be kind to everybody. Really? You? Yeah. Listen, we all know we're super spreaders. <laughs> you know, that, there's no question about that, it does, you know? <laughs> Alan shaking his head again. Alan, you got to leave here. I'm now concentrating on you. Puts a lot of pressure on we're going to discuss Limburg businesses. There's a lot of businesses that are opening in Limburg. There are a lot of businesses that are new in Limburg, ones that we don't, uh, we don't even know about yet. So we're going to be discussing. What I would like to do is. What would you like to do? Bring in 
really to try to get food. <laughs> Bring in like free. restaurants. We could eat Wait, on camera. We, we could, we could test pa- stuff we could out. Parlay this into freebies. Fri- we have parlay this. Can we do that, Alan? We're doing it. We're doing it. So what we're gonna? Do- yes. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to get restaurants to bring us food and here have... Ba- babe, the diet's off. Frank from the River Mill is so Frank from the River Mill will be next Thursday, we'll say? No, I want to, I want to guarantee food next can, Thursday. Can he bring in some Because this, this pears and the apples are here are getting me hungry on this tablecloth, so... When was the last time you were at a pear or an apple? That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat them. I'll be an Listen, I, listen I hear you. <laughs> so... Um, We'd like to get them each each week. Get a new business in here. Get them to tell about tell them about uh, themselves. Tell us about themselves. Tell, tell you guys. Tell guys yeah. I think the video's going dead. It's blinking now. Oh, the change. It is just taking the battery out. Do Does you that want mean to it's not talking? It's still on. It's still on. I thought okay. we were done. I know. I was happy for a second. But <laughs> so um, we'll get we'll get all the businesses, upcoming businesses. So just you know, just a River, couple of names. River Mill has a great jalapeno margarita. Really? Yeah. It, it, Those it, are gross. No. Jalapeno margarita? You, you eat like lime margarita, those, those things uh, out of the can. I don't drink anything. Woo, woo, Why woo, are you judging me? Woo, we just talked about I've not judging. I've seen you drink woo <laughs> There's a lot you, of, you and the girls. There's a lot of businesses oh, soon to be opening, just to ma- name a couple that we're going to discuss, hopefully get in, get free food. Taco Joe's, Jersey Mike's. Where is Jersey Mike's opening up? In the Phillips Plaza, right? Jersey Mike's is awesome. Shout out to Ray Longwood. Um, Jersey Mike's. The Great name. Yeah, that's true. Are you from Jersey? Uh-huh. Are you really? No, I'm a flip. Yeah. Um, there's a daycare, gymnastic studio. There's the First Central Savings Bank. They're not bringing us food, so who cares about them? Um, Maybe they can get you to do some gymnastics. Yeah. <laughs> could you imagine just all of a sudden you see you me do some doing backflips? <laughs> Um, Shaking Crab, um, Play Coop Cafe. What's Play Coop Cafe, Alan? Do you know? Yes, it's a, uh, a place where they're going to have coffee and things for children to play with. You know, like a wall type of thing, you know, a play area for kids. Alan has no idea what it is. He's saying there's coffee and there's, kids for, there's toys for kids. So, Play Coop Cafe. Um, there's the ramen place. Has anyone eaten there? Have you guys eaten there? No, but I've heard good things. I've heard nothing but great things. It's good, right? Have you eaten there? That should be our first hit job, the ramen place. Yeah, they need to hook that up. We gotta get them in here. Um, we gotta get them in here. I'm getting hungry only, right now. Only to help the business, that's what. Yeah, we have to help and bring awareness to the businesses. You know, so bring us food. Um, there is you got a huge there's problem. a business that just moved. Um, what's Stacy's business? The, the dance workshop. Dance workshop. Dance Workshop moved from Merrick Road right across the street, uh, right next to OLP. They moved to a bigger location um, above Vincent's. So once you get done dancing, you can go down. You go down to Vincent's, have a slice of pizza. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) Um, Maybe we'll just go for the pizza and skip the dancing. Well, we just go watch dance and eat pizza. <laughs> but yes, I spoke to Stacy today. They, they're going to be they moved their business. So anybody want to join? Um, if this, if this their takes children off, up? if this takes off, maybe we'll be on Dancing with the Stars. We sh- this should take off. I mean, we've I mean, been, it's bigger than most of the stars they have on it. Yeah, and there's nothing else on Limburg TV. So no. you know, any you know. So I heard there was a, there was an art show, right? There was there was there was an art show that they bumped and put us in. Is that true? She doesn't know. She, what, she what knows. Are you, what are she you knows. Doing she's here? just not saying. What does she do? Oh, 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 oh the boss. Can we get the boss? Can we, oh, the boss is back. She's looking at us. Behave. <laughs> so we're going to discuss upcoming events. We're going to discuss ways to help out Limbrook. Limbrook school events, sports. That's a big thing. So again, this is this is being this is going to be taking off, and you know, there's going to be different things that we're trying back and forth. Absolutely. Um, we did come up with an email address and what we would like to do is we'd like to um, give shout outs at the end of each week you know so we're gonna be doing this Thursdays right Thursdays every Thursday eight o'clock we'd like to give shout outs for every Thursday every Thursday <laughs> for pr- free food Mike <laughs> prior from the prior weeks sporting events so if you could reach out to your coaches or the president of your league and say to get in touch the with us, they can email right. the organization. They can email us. You know, if you guys want to do highlights, you know, Mike's kid, 
He uh, scored a touchdown. Limbrook won. They beat whatever town. My kid went to Malvern. They played soccer. You're yeah, but even, if he scored even, a goal, you're not even close. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, the email address will be tnl at limbrookvillage.com. So please reach out to your uh, sporting um, directors, presidents, and let's uh, get them to. Carrie's texting us. She's we're right here. We're right here. Get them to what send us. Uh, what she say? Read it out loud. Read it out loud, Mike. Yeah. Hon, you look so hot on TV. <laughs> That's no way it says that. Oh, that's not from Kerry. <laughs> um, <laughs> so get them to send us in. Let's let's get all the the, the the events involved so we can shout out kids, shout out how we're doing sports wise. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, you want that? No one's talking. This is and I want to get a live audience at some point. So I want to invite people in and do this in front of a live what's, audience. What's the capacity in here? What is the capacity in this room? Yeah, he's the Alan's on the phone. Who are you on the phone with, Alan? <laughs> Alan, who are you on the phone with? 155. 150 people. So we could do 155 people. I know somebody to build it for. We could get it up to 200. Yeah, we'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the other guy's the fire chief. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. Robbie's, well, I don't know what he's doing. He's walking around with a flag. Robbie, you're right over there. Yeah, he's following orders. Oh, man. You had to see. You have to see to get information in Limburg. I'm calling around trying to get upcoming events. Like I have to get it approved through the board first. Everyone was going nuts over here to get information. Um, we are going to again social media topics. You know, people like to post stuff and whatever the hot topic is, we can relive and talk about. I uh, would like we get, we're going to stream this live eventually, right onto this reminds either me. social media or YouTube. <laughs> yeah, they don't know. This reminds me like Wiley Coyote with the plant or something. <laughs> it just, just comes up. Now he's pointing at it. Robbie's pointing at off. it. Um, so we're going to be going over over that. We would like to see if the phones work. So let somebody try to call in. Let's did, see did if you it give works. The number yet? No, Ariana, you don't call. We want to see people are watching. No one could be watching. We'll answer it the first time, Carrie. Right? Can we answer it from you? No, do you have the number? Yes, it's 516. Carrie, you want to be on TV? Five ones. I see. Right now, I would normally turn my computer and show Kerry on TV. Mason's here. No, you got. I want somebody from the outside, and then you can call in later. Mason's no, he wanted here. to be on TV. Mason, you want to be on TV? Come in. Come in, Mason. <laughs> Mason's here. This is my son, Mason. Everybody, say hello to Mason. My, can, Mason, my come in. Come in the middle. Mason can't fit. Wait, come on, Mason. There's not that much room. A piece of wood. <laughs> Mason's the star. So uh, I want let's try out the uh, phone service. Let's see if it works, if anybody's watching. Give us a call, 516-599-8784. Give us a call. Let's see if uh, the phones time, are working. 516-599-8784. Someone's oh. calling. Oh. It says mayor on it. I think Harry's the mayor. I hope it's no one pranking us. You just hung up on them. <laughs> Please call back. <laughs> and only one person called? One person called. All right, so call in. So let's do this. I'll tell you what, right now. The that was, that wasn't speak. good. Let's, let's do a call. Let's see how many people are watching. Please call. If you watched us raise money for Limbrook. Uh, you better try this one. Right? Hello? Call, you on the air? Hi. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Somebody's watching us. How are we doing? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? I can hear you. Nice. Who am I speaking to? This is Bobby. Bobby, how are we... I want to play cornhole with Mike. <laughs> this is my old neighbor. He, he's very old. He's very... I'm, so, I'm shocked he's still up. <laughs> Bob, Bob. <laughs> Bobby, how are we I'm, doing? I'm the block champion, by the way. Who is this? Billy, I'm Mike's name. You guys are doing a good job. Billy, how are you? We're doing a good job. Good. Billy helps me out when we do the volunteer for Lindbrook to, to do the sidewalks. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. Show us out and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Snow removal. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I just wanted to be the first one of you to call in <laughs> and welcome you to. And by the way, it's true what they say about the extra ten pounds. 
Oh, come on. Me, me or Brian? Me or Brian? <laughs> I'm actually... Um, I just had extreme weight loss. I didn't, I'm didn't. i surprised no one noticed. Listen, guys, you're doing a good job. I appreciate it, and uh, keep up the good work, please. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Billy. Bye-bye. So, He's a good dude. So literally one person is watching. I knew he was watching. He was watching just to bust your chops. <laughs> He's a good name. So one person is watching. Nobody else? Oh, there oh wait, go. there's somebody else. What's called right? It says Karen. Miss Vaughn. I think that is. Yeah. Hello. Miss Vaughn here. Mrs. Vaughn. Mrs. Vaughn, the OLP principal. How are you? Oh, we're doing good. Well, you know what? Why I have you on the phone, Mrs. Vaughn? Hold on one second. I have to look at my phone. So, Mrs. Vaughn and OLP is doing the $10,000 dinner dance. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The $10,000 dinner dance coming up. When is the date on the $10,000 dinner dance? Friday, April 29th. Friday, April 29th. You can get tickets. How do you get tickets to that? Okay, so it's going to be up and coming. You can see it on the I social. Mean, it? It's all the way up. Can they hear? Can they hear downstairs who's on the phone? No, I don't think you can pick it up here. Yeah. Um, so the uh, OLP dinner dance, uh, they're going to be good. They're going to be, I think they're honoring you and I. Is that correct? Are they? All right, that's Ms. Yeah, nice. So we're going to have a party, yeah. right? I hear there's a lot of new things that we're, we're going to potentially be doing at this uh, dinner dance that haven't been done before to blow the doors off of it and bring the community back together. I hear you have a genius behind the scenes giving ideas. Who's better than a genius? Better than a genius. I'm, I'm, listen, we've gone through this before. I'm godly. <laughs> Ms. Vaughn's not telling nothing. All right, Ms. Vaughn, thank, thank you very much. Everybody night, look forward. Thank you. Everybody look uh, to get the tickets to the dinner dance. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. She's the best. She, she, she is the. She's a good lady. She was very good to my kids when they went. Yeah, she's. Uh, how long has she bring the, been the principal there? She's oh, the look who it is! Dinner. Look at who it is! How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> who who is this? Yeah. Who is who is this? I like the caller ID, but who is this? <laughs> this is Rosemary Rose. You know, not I, like the first caller said about the extra pounds. Yeah, you heard it. Oh, no, I'll deal with him. We're gonna we're gonna go to his house tonight. <laughs> so uh, so listen, Rosemary. What what would you like to see from this show? Tell us what you think. What you'd like to see. Thank you. Does Brian know you're flirting with us right now? <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary, thank you so much. It was good talking to you. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Have a good night. That was very nice. You know, just to give a little background on why me and Mike are here, besides, you know, Alan begging me. Um, the where, reason... Where did Jake, where did Jake come in? Yeah. West Point. West Point. Oh, pretty nice. impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jake Curran got into West Point. Yes. Um, West Point. Let me tell you something. He, he's a great kid. They're a great family. family. Yeah, hundred um, percent. They should be very proud. I'm proud because he was part of the Titans program. Also, uh, he's, he was always came in and helped coach after he left. He's a good kid. So. Yeah, because Brian is not athletic. I've seen him out there with his with his flip flops, and he was it was not a good scene. Do we still have the the mayor Brian Curran plaque? Does that still exist? I don't know. I would like that one. 
<laughs> Robbie, come on. <laughs> Why is was he? No, is he better than Luke? No, no, listen. Alan's the best. No, Alan is the best. So, uh, we, just to give a little background on stuff, why we're doing this, uh, pre-COVID, right, it was right when, so it was a, a year and a half ago, Kerry, we started this? So a year and a half ago, um, Mike, I, Kerry, and Lisa, we all got together. You know, COVID happened, and we were looking to help the businesses, looking to... Rosemary has the name Ah! We were looking to help the businesses oh, that were struggling. Down. Yeah, with the shutdowns, and me and Mike came up with a great idea, Mike and I came up with a great idea to, it was something simple, we were going to just go on Facebook, uh, info at Limbrook on, face, on Facebook, we would, full disclosure, when you asked me, I really didn't hear what you said, I just said yes. You did, you, you honestly yes. just say yes to everything <laughs> I ask. Anybody else, I say yes. Oh, she, we're getting directions. I'm oh, sorry, I was trying to get it for the phone calls, so. So, um. We, we came up with the idea where let's just, we'll do a raffle. It was, it was $10 a spot, 100 spots, and then we were going to take that, that, that money, divide it into four, pick the winners from those 100 people, and then go gift around and buy gift certificates to the restaurants for those winners just to like give a bit the businesses a boost. Fast forward to we do it. I mean, the, let's go. The response to that was it was crazy. So and the people got involved and everybody was doing it. So it grew. Correct. Grew yeah. legs and it, it exploded after the first night. Fast forward to today, who was getting involved? Who was donating this? Who was donating that? Um, we raised over four hundred thousand. Yeah, so yeah, all together. All together, you know, even Malvern. Malvern reached out to us. We were, we were doing some stuff with Malvern. We did stuff for Limburg, Limburg businesses, OLP. Um, Knights, the vets, the Knights. BFW, even some, some families who had the, the, some medical issues. Correct, yes, yes. So we, we got involved and we raised over uh, 400, I, it was a little over 400,000 in a, in a year and a half of money we gave back, um, you know, to help out families, which is my next, my next topic. Um, Limbrook is about helping people. Listen, I try to do that. We try to do that. There's a family um, that had a tragedy. The Scully family, the mother passed away suddenly. They're a Limbrook family. They, um, they have three children and they need our help. They were, I'm sure some of you have already seen it on social media. Right, there's a, there's a, a there's GoFundMe, GoFundMe yes. page. The GoFundMe page is help support the Scully family and uh, if you could help them out, donate, uh, you know, they, they could use it. They were a very young couple, Limbrook family. Um, and it's on the, it's on the front, front of the Herald. This, this, it actually this cycle, yeah, it is. Right? I don't know if, are we allowed to show that? Yeah, so you're on the fr they're on the front of the Herald. So, um, yeah, help them out. Uh, they definitely could use the help. And, and keep them in your prayers and your thoughts, certainly. 100%. Yes. Thank you, Mike, for making that point. I forgot that. So sometimes it's not all about the money. Yeah, no, definitely. You just keep them in their prayers. You're 100 percent right. Um, up again, upcoming events. Just to get off a little bit of a lighter note, um, we have upcoming events like the Titans football registration. The Regis and I just reminded, we have that coming up on March 8th. Spots are going to fill fast. Last year, I uh, I'm the Titans football president. Last I, year, I thought you were stepping down. I did, and, and then just, they you, sucked you, me back in. <laughs> you just couldn't give it up, could I, you? I couldn't give it up. Um, <laughs> March 8th is uh, the registration. It's at the VFW. They always help us out, the VFW. They're great. March 8th from 7 to 9. Spots are going to feel fast. We're doing from 5 years old to 12 years old. Um, so come they down. Got, they got a 5-year-old program. Five, yeah, Maybe. the program is um, 5 and 6 age groups, and then it's single age groups after okay. that. It's the first year. Last year was the first year we were in the Nassau program. It was great. It was a tremendous success. We even had one um, John McHugh's age group. He, how old is John McHugh's age group, Ariana? Last year. So it was the, the 10 year olds, right? Yeah, because you're 11. Right. So. so the 10 year olds won the championship against Rockville well, Center. Congratulations. Very yeah, nice. it was nice. It was a good always, season. Always beat the, good to beat Rockville Center. Yes, it was a, they, they were very happy in Limbrook. It's a rarity from Limbrook, but it's always good. 100%. Um, then they have, um, there's also just something, where's that scholarship fund? 
Are the parents? Uh, Mike is so unprepared. Okay, the, yeah, do you got it? Moms and Dads scholarship raffle. That's going on um, for, um, it's Jolene Roth Lucchese. Uh, I don't know how to get to this though. So it's, it's, it's on. It's on the Limbrook, Info at Limbrook. Page. It's on the, yeah, the Info at Limbrook page, the and Facebook page, the, like $20 a spot. The drawing is next, next Thursday. Next Thursday drawing, so keep an eye out they, for that. They didn't even know we were gonna be on, but they made it at 9 p.m. the drawing, so it's after our show. So it's after our show. They, they so must have known, they didn't want to interfere. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's that. Then um, again, we're just going to be discussing, uh, you know, upcoming events. There's an Easter egg hunt. They have no idea when it's going to be yet. Uh, we're going to be trying to mold and I bet make it's this. Going to be closer to Easter. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be closer to Easter. <laughs> Maybe you could play cornhole there with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, we can. Uh, you can look forward to us discussing all events. You know, in in the raffle fashion, I'd like to uh, do a couple raffles right now. If you followed us throughout the whole... Is it really a raffle or is it like a... It's a giveaway. Trivial. trivial yeah, I mean, it's trivial. 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 Trivial or trivia? So you got... You no, say... Go you keep talking. Go ahead. <laughs> I like um, to throw you off your game. So Now you just did. <laughs> That's why I do it. So if you followed us from the beginning, the... Where was the first... It was the first business, right, Kerry, that we went to? If you call in right now, again, the phone number is 516-599-8784, 516-599. That's annoying, by the way. You have to dial 516 now from the landline. Do you notice that? You can't dial just like the 599. Well, you have to dial 516. You get a new, new exchange in Nassau County, right? Yeah. What did, what did you say? A new exchange. Like yes. Yeah. So we got 516-599. Five, five, remember remember nine, in the old days, it, was, it used to be LY9 or LY3? I don't remember that. That's old days. I'm young. 516... <laughs> Carrie's going to Pitbull. 516-599-8784. Mrs. Worldwide. If you could tell us the first business we sat down and went live from when we did the raffles, you get Billy Joel tickets. We'll give out Billy Joel tickets. I know. Oh, look, look. <laughs> Carrie, you can't call Carrie. <laughs> Carrie's the only one. Oh, look, here's this guy's who it is. Dawn. Oh, let's answer this. Hello. Who's no, you you who is this? Dawn Callahan. Dawn, how are you? No, Dawn, you're wrong. What'd you say? Good try though. Craft was when was Craft? Like a third, right? We're getting tons of feedback. Um yeah, Craft was like the second or third. Uh what no, it was actually yeah, it was the third. So no, Dawn, keep watching them. I thank you. How how do you get the echo? Dude, I don't know. You heard that was terrible. Listen, Limbrook spares no expense for us. They give us great phone <laughs> service, great tablecloths. I want this tablecloth for the rest of the show. It's probably going to end tonight, but I want this for the rest of the show. Oh, Thanks, oh we Gary. got another caller here. Oh, this is this looks like Trusty Baccio. Is this Trusty Baccio? You're not you're not allowed to win. But Gad, give us your. Uh, How come he can't win? I guess he can, My yeah. Is, uh, no. No, no, it's wrong too. Wow. That was, that was the bike giveaway. That was the bike. That was, yeah. that, was, <laughs> that was Christmas right before Christmas. Let's not talk about this. Let's not talk about what happened <laughs> after that. No, Rob, thank you for calling in, but no, that's not correct. Good work, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. That was Trusty Baccio. How many lines? It's one line, right? So if, okay. So we had two people calling that are looking for the Billy Joel tickets. Keep calling. No, there was a third person, but you hung up on it. It was it was Carrie. Carrie's not allowed. Oh, I know. Look who it is. You can't come up with rules in the middle of the game. I don't know how to answer this. Who am I speaking to? Hi, uh, this is Tara. Tara, uh, ta Tara, you, Tara, how are you? Tara Callahan. It's. <laughs> <laughs> it is Tara Ca Aragona. Tara Aragona. <laughs> Tara, how's it going? What do you what what do you think it is? Is it Prime Thirty Nine? Absolutely not. But Tara, that was a good try. You only get one. And Tara, you did a beautiful job on Carrie's yeah, hair Carrie's today with the blowout. Yeah, Carrie's hair looks great. She looks younger. I was just gonna say, we've ever cut Brian's hair. It's the best that's ever. How it looks? It looks good. Does he get a discount? I should get a discount. She overcharges me. No, absolutely not. Do you just hold the scissors over his head and just kind yeah, of swing him around? Yeah, pretend to cut because there's nothing really to cut. <laughs> it's a lot of work. There's a lot of hair on that head. 
It's it's, a no, lot. it's a big head. There's not a lot of hair on it. Listen, I, you know how many gray hairs I have now? It's getting ridiculous. I don't even know what to do anymore. It's getting ridiculous. The grays are not your problem. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. All right. Thank okay. you, guys. Bye. Listen, so we're already half, we're through half the Limburg businesses. There's only like... I saw Dave at the gym. I'm not going to make jokes about that or going to Dave oh, oh, and anymore. <laughs> He's getting pretty big. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hi, I have an answer. What, what's your name? <laughs> My name is Susan. What is it? Susan. Susan, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. This is Brian. And Mike. This is, you're speaking to Brian Lanzello. Uh, Who'd you? Oh, she's a, what'd you say? I said, is it the Brian? It's the <laughs> Brian Lanzello, yes. You heard that, right? Because I'm going to talk about that for is the rest of my life. Is that with two Z's or one Z? That's one Z, okay. <laughs> well, how do you think we're doing, so? It, I'm going to listen to this forever now. Awesome. Did you hear her say the Brian Lanzello? You heard she that, right? She said the Brian. Is it Mayor Brian Lanzello? It's it's mayor. You see mayor. The so the uh, mayor's not happy. What what you what's your uh, your uh, guess? So she's right. right. She's right. Vincent's yes. Congratulations. Hundred percent. Congratulations. Um, you That's, are right. That, We're gonna. Did did you know the answer? or Did you look through your old Facebook? I I used one of my lifelines. <laughs> 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 All right, Sue. Do can we? That's awesome. Um, do me a favor, Sue. Give it a little while just so I can get your contact information and we'll, we'll get... Oh, I have it right there. Hold on, wait. I can see it on the... Don't read it out. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. Because there could be millions of watches. All right. We'll give you a call later after the show and we'll send you over the tickets. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Thanks, thank Sue. You. Bye. Bye. How come All right, I, so you know how what? How come I didn't get the Mike Habert? Because I'm the Brian Lanzello. <laughs> so, you know what? Let's keep it going. We have a set of Islander tickets to give away, too. But what's the question? You make up the question. What's my favorite cold cut <laughs> that we're not allowed to talk about? <laughs> if Mike likes cold cuts. Nope, that can't no, be the question. No, can't, can't be the question. What's another question? <laughs> Alan's shaking his head right now. I'm not answering that because, all right, let's, let's see. Hello? Don't say the cold cut. <laughs> Who's this? Hello. Hello? Who's calling? It's Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. How are you? This is, she's, she's a lovely woman. Her husband. <laughs> the guy's a... He's a good guy? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you want the Islander tickets? All right, Carol, that's great. <laughs> Tell us how, how we're doing. You're doing great. <laughs> what, Carol, tell us things you're going to want to see on this show. Um, I want to see when you eat the food from the restaurant. I, I want to see that, too, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm 100% down with that. All right, so great, Carol. Thank you so much for calling in, and we're going to start the food next week. Carol, can you just say one thing? Carol, can you say one thing to me while we're alive? Yes. Can you say the Mets stink? No, yes. Please. <laughs> can you say you were just on the phone with the Brian Lanzello? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you like better, me or Brian, when you watch? Okay, I gotta go now. <laughs> Carol, thank you. Bye. Bye, Carol. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, we're getting a lot of good. We're getting a lot of good callers here. Are these just people we know, or are these are these everybody? Faithful, faithful, faithful watches. fans, faithful fans. I mean, you're the Brian. I'm the Brian Lindell. Listen, we got Islander tickets. Is that, so, is that like the universe? Whoever calls up and Miami? says the Mike Habert will get win <laughs> Islander tickets because Mike's an Islander fan and the these, Islanders wait, stink. Are these, I would use another word, are but these, are these my tickets? Because no, you these be, aren't. You've been giving away so much. I haven't been to a game all year. <laughs> No, these are not your tickets. Who donated these tickets? Um, somebody donated these tickets. I don't remember who it was. You, Lisa does, and Lisa's not here, so we will... Um, where did she go? She just brought the kids and left? She had to go pick up Gavin. She had to go pick up Gavin from uh, wrestling. 
so she should be back any minute. But whoever uh, calls in and says the Mike Habert to make Mike feel better about himself, that carries going to Pitbull. I am perfectly comfortable in myself. You get free Islander. See, no one's calling because no one wants Islander tickets. Let's go Rangers. Go ahead. Talk Ranger tickets. I'm not putting Ranger tickets up. It's too hot (laughs) right now. (laughs) When was the last time you were at a game? I haven't been to a game yet this season. You're a faithful fan. Hello. Oh, you get a lot of feedback. Hello? Hi. I would like to speak with the... I would like to speak with the Michael Haber. There you go. Yes. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Nicole Dyer. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting ready for Atlantic City? Yes. This woman's husband is the sweetest man on earth. First of all, I'm He's a, he's, he's a saint. Wait. <laughs> this is another friend of Mike calling in right now? She... She's a, a relative of one of the wrong answers Michael earlier. And Brian. <laughs> yes, you, me, Brian Lanzello. You're not a fan of Brian. Everyone's a fan of me. It's, <laughs> listen, you can't not be. I'm like Santa. This this is Tara's sister. Wait, Tara Callahan's this sister. This is Tara Callahan. Oh. And, da- and Dave, this is Dave Callahan's sister-in-law. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. So. Good. How are you? So you win the you win the Islander tickets. We'll send them over to you. You guys, I hope you enjoy Pitbull this week. Where where is Pitbull playing? The hard the Hard Rock in Atlantic City. The Hard Rock. Mm-hmm. Make sure make sure my wife behaves this weekend. I will. Pitbull center stage. <laughs> thank you, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Are we doing all right? You guys are doing great. And thank you for acknowledging me. She's got to wait. She's got to wait. Thank you. Goodbye. If you hear it, it's we're we're a little delayed. Yeah, we're a little, are we delayed? You really delayed us? No, no, it's the wiring. Lisa, who donated the island the tickets? Chip and Deirdre Horns, great Limbrook family. They donated the island the tickets that we just gave away to Nicole. Um, Thanks, Chip and Deirdre. Yeah, thank you guys. Listen. We're going to do this. We've been on for about 45 minutes, which is a pretty long time. I think, I think it went well. Um, so far, so good. Again, if there's anything specific you guys want to see, or if there's anyone besides our friends that are watching, <laughs> email, <laughs> email over. We're at, friends with everybody, so it's, that's hard to narrow down. TNL at LimbrookVillage.com. Tell us what you want to see. Tell us things um, that you want to hear. We're going to be doing the restaurants. We're going to bring in different restaurants here, hopefully specials. We're going to bring in different businesses. We'll bring in different sports. Again, do it. Titans next week, registration. Lacrosse is starting up right next week. Lacrosse is starting up. Lacrosse is starting up next Titan, week. The Titans still have a program too, and with lacrosse. It's, it's a Titans lacrosse uh, and Titans um, uh, football. And... Um, Gavin it just came from wrestling. Gavin, you want to come say hello quick? Gavin, can I get a hey, yeah. <laughs> Did you win tonight? <laughs> Look at a tan on this kid. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Can you see him? Is he good? So you did good? Were you the king of the mat tonight? Two times. Two times? Give me one. Gavin, do it once. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. Gavin, you were shy just now. So listen again, we, and we, we want to bring people in, right? Talk to different Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Talk to different residents. Different, different, different business owners, different yeah. residents. Yeah, come in if you want to just complain, and we could laugh while you complain to Mayor Allen Beach. We're good with that too. You we're know? good. We're a good conduit to the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> listen, thank you. But, but by the look on his face, I don't think we're going to be going on, <laughs> on next week. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Mayor Allen Beach. Again, this is going to be a show that we're just going to try to bring light to everything, get a couple of laughs, have fun with it, and show different uh, topics each week. Thank you, everybody, for, for doing this. Thank, Robbie, thank you for the all crew. Yes, TV, they the did crew. a great job. You guys want to come in and say hello? Come on. Turn, turn the camera on yourself. Turn the get camera some on yourself. <laughs> we're going to have to roll some credits afterwards. So yeah, we have, are we going to, next week, can we have like, just like random pictures of me and Mike as the intro to the show? Like, you know how you have an intro to the show, like, Blue Bloods? Like, you have, like... Look at me. Maybe, let's... The oh, next, nice. Let's get a theme song. We should... What's the theme song? I don't know. 
Maybe the, maybe the viewers can make a pick a theme song. For Email like us like over a theme song. Miami Vice. Or no one's Rosa. watching us right now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave the tickets away. That's it. Everybody's shut off. off now. Think of a theme song. Send us. Uh, tell us what theme song you should. We should uh, open up. And, sure. What? And it better not be the Fat Albert theme song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Alan. And look, Alan. So we're not bad. Have we? He's we worried. Been? He's he's Honestly. so cl- he's so close to it still being family TV. It is. We didn't go, did we go over any lines? No. 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 We didn't mention that at all. Not at all. But some of the people in the neighborhood think that's my name. They do. They quote. They, I get approached in the supermarket, the restaurants. Let me tell you a little story, <laughs> just to show you how popular we are. Mike went into a beverage, uh, Valley Stream, Valley, Valley Stream beverage. Yes, Valley Street beverage. Mike went into Valley Stream beverage, and the the gentleman behind the counter was the owner. He was starstruck, and gave Mike free beer because of being on live he, at Info he wasn't, at Limburg. He wasn't really starstruck. He was trying to stay calm because I dropped a twelve pack of Amstel's <laughs> on the floor and broke every one of them. <laughs> no, he said his, his family were faithful. With the raffles, I, they actually won, um, I believe, the party. I think they won the, the Atwell tent and uh, the scoops. Not, yeah, there was a couple yeah. of those that we gave away. Yeah. yeah, Atwell tent always came through. Yeah, but that was cool, though. He's a, he's a Limburg resident, right? The owner of Valley Stream? My, oh, he's not. He's just an employee. There. What's his name? Michael what? He, he didn't give away uh, He didn't give away beer. <laughs> We're lying. He didn't give away beer. But listen, he was a big fan, and then I went in there and tried to get free Slim Jims. When, because uh, I knew that the guy was a fan. <laughs> um, Eating them when somebody's not looking is not free. Yeah. It's stealing. <laughs> the Brian Lanzello. At least you missed that. Somebody called it and said, am I speaking to the Brian Lanzello? <laughs> Listen, they should people call me Oh Jesus as well. It's, it depends on who you are, you know? <laughs> You're going to make the kids call you that around the house? I think I'm going to make them call me Oh Jesus from now on. Are you going to change your trucks to the... The Lanzello Brothers. Lanzello Remodeling. Come on. Yeah, no. See, that was a shameless plug. I've never mentioned my <laughs> company before. That was I, no, messed I up. I mentioned it. I apologize. That was messed up. I take it back. <laughs> Can we delete that scene out of the replays? Um, so, again, thank you, everybody. Mike, thank you. This has been fun. We'll see you guys next always. week. Again, email us, tnl at limbrookvillage.com. Hopefully, we'll get into the some is clenching his hands really hot right. topics and... Um, We'll make this good, and we'll make this interesting, and uh, eventually have this place filled with people watching and interacting with us and interacting with the mayor and make it fun and do what we can do. Do you agree? I agree. Awesome. Excellent Thank you, job. everybody. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Wait, they got it. So we don't say anything yet.